Hello everybody. Today we're going to take a look at pinnacle and ridge line operations and a slope landings in the DCS Huey. These concepts will apply to all DCS helicopters and unlike my previous videos, all of this is very different to how it works in real life. In real life, these operations are very challenging and interesting and if you are interested in that, I recommend studying chapter 10 of the FAA helicopter flying handbook. Many of these challenges arise from how winds behave around mountains and other obstructions. This is not modeled in DCS and therefore does not concern us today. What we are going to look at is what the challenges are within DCS. One thing that is modeled and heavily plays into this topic is ground effect. In real life, ground effect is a soft cushion that gently welcomes you as you approach and might be even less noticeable when you are approaching a slope that diverts air away from you. In DCS, Ground effect is a brick wall that is always perpendicular to the ground and just punches you in the face and calls you a loser for getting sucker punched. Especially the fact that it is always perpendicular to whatever surface you are above causes a lot of issues in DCS pinnacle landing. Get into ground effect before you actually reach the top and you might be pushed backwards so hard that you either run out of forward cyclic authority or are pushed into the patented DCS vortex ring state. Overshoot just a tiny bit and the slope will propel you forward, forcing you to go around. So what we want to do is end a ground effect above the most even part of the pinnacle. Stay above this even part, since the point of a pinnacle landing is to come down on a tight elevated spot, we won't be able to reliably recreate normal approaches to pinnacles in DCS, but instead we have to treat pinnacles like we treat confined area approaches. Step 1 for reliable pinnacle approaches in DCS. Make sure you can hover out of ground effect at the pinnacle's altitude. Step two, find the most even spot on the pinnacle. Visualize your approach, keeping wind direction in mind. Step three, find one or several reference points that help you keep hover position. Step four, shoot a normal approach that ends in an out of ground effect hover above the pinnacle. Step 5. Slowly descend and hover. Be prepared to counteract the ground effect pushing you in any given direction. Step 6. Gently put her down. Now of course, as we put her down, we can't always ensure that the ground below us is actually even. This is where slope operations come in. And apart from the weird DCS ground effect, these can be performed pretty close to how they work in real life. You hover perpendicular to the slope, which will require some slopeward cyclic, since the ground effect is pushing us away from the slope. You gently touch down with one skid, and while giving more slopeward cyclic, you gently lower your collective to touch down with the second skid. Don't overdo it to prevent mass bumping and losing the main rotor. Now. In real life, you will often see ambulance helicopters putting their nose into the slope. In the DCS Huey, I wouldn't recommend it, since the Huey got a tendency to rock back and forth on its skids, which can easily lead to tail strikes. Now everything we just talked about can also be applied to buildings. Approaching buildings in DCS is a lot easier than approaching normal pinnacles, since they don't have slopes generating ground effect at weird angles. Still, the ground effect above the roof is very strong and it sets in instantly as you cross the edge of the roof. So try to cross the edge of the roof out of ground effect, but as long as you're not trying to land at the forward edge of the roof, this means you can just do a standard approach to a roof and only have to make sure your rotor stays above the roof itself. Only having part of your rotor above the roof means the ground effect from the roof will propel you away. On roofs that are smaller than your main rotor, this means that you will always be pushed away from the center of the building. Now, we can make this a tad more spicy by trying a slope landing on a roof. First, a word of warning. Not all roofs support this kind of activity. Some might cause you to bug around. Now, approaching a house with the standard roof 
we know as soon as we are above it, the slope of the roof will push us away. So we need to be prepared for that as we come in. Then we come to a hover above the house. Gently touch down the roofward skid, give roofward cyclic, and lower our collective to gently touch down our other skid. Easy. Now to take off, we again give roofward cyclic as we raise our collective to raise our skid, and as we pull to an even hover, we keep centering our cyclic to end up level with both skids in the air and proceed to take off. One skid landings on roofs can certainly not be performed reliably in DCS right now. They are one of the most challenging and fun things to do in a transport helicopter, but the interactions between a hovering helicopter and a roof just cause all skids to buck in and out of the roof and usually explode. I hope this was helpful. If you're interested in these topics, I heavily recommend reading the FAA Helicopter Handbook Chapter 10, link in the description. Just keep in mind what is and what isn't modeled in DCS. If you were able to find a roof that enables you to reliably one skid on it, let me know in the comments. Hope you have a great day. Till next time.